Zombies co-op map, a new Zombies game mode, and the Peacekeeper, the first DLC weapon ever offered in the history of Call of Duty. It's going to be a surprise around every corner. Hydro is a large hydroelectric dam facility set in Pakistan. The map design is really focused on bottlenecks and choke points. But there's a twist. Uniquely, Hydro has a major spillway that will actually flood. A burst of water comes sweeping down the center of the map. If you are in that path, you are dust. Ride takes place at a skate park in the middle of Venice, California. It is entirely comprised of half pipes and skate ramps, so everything is curved. People are used to playing hard edges and very standard pieces of cover. So when you introduce curves into the environment, that basically forces players away from the walls, and because of that, you're a little bit less secure. Downhill is really important to Revolution because it brings back snow environments for the first time in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Downhill is based in the French Alps in a ski resort and lodge. It's got long range lines of sight and three really key vantage points that players love to fight over. Of course, cutting across the middle of this bowl are the gondolas. You can use these for cover. The gondolas are always moving, and if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, they're going to take you out. Mirage is based in the Gobi Desert in China. It's basically a luxury resort, but it's been completely windswept. And the sandstorm has left in its wake massive sand dunes. You could run up and use the terrain to get into the second floor windows of building and really use those sand dunes in gameplay in unique and interesting ways. This map has the most diversity, I think, of the gameplay styles of all the four maps. Skyrise takes place in the Far East in a series of crumbling skyscrapers. And what's cool about it is that for the first time we're introducing the element of verticality. We're combining open areas of gameplay as well as very narrow and dark corridors. And it's very much like a maze. You not only will get lost, but also there are so many dangerous places like uh, you know, elevator shafts that are open. If you don't pay attention, just fall into the chasm. Created this environment that is very surreal in nature. In certain parts, players may not be able to tell which side is up and which side is down. It's kind of like an MC Escher style puzzle. Turn is a brand new game mode to Zombies. This is the first time we've added a new game mode with our DLC, and it allows players to do something that they haven't wanted to do for a long time, which is play as the zombie. In this mode, you're going to run and wreck havoc, trying to take down the one lone human player. And if you're successful, you'll actually respawn as that lone human, and now it's on you to fend off the zombies, and you're going to get points for doing so. The Peacekeeper. This is a brand new weapon that's coming in with Revolution. And this is the first time that we've ever actually put a weapon as part of DLC. This is a bonus element to the map pack. The Peacekeeper SMG is a hybrid between an SMG and an assault rifle. I think players are going to love it. Revolution, four brand new multiplayer maps, a Zombies co-op map, a brand new Zombies game mode, and the Peacekeeper. All of this is available on January 29th, first on Xbox 360. Get Revolution as a standalone map pack or as part of the season pass. Well, there you have it, guys. Oh my God, here. And there is a uh, footage of the Revolution DLC map pack. Revolution 1 with Hydro, Mirage, and whatever those maps are. Along with Die Rise, a new zombie map, or I mean zombie mode called Turned. We can play as zombies, which basically like infected. So there you have it guys. Subscribe and like this video and keep checking out my channel for more Black Ops 2 videos and peace out y'all.